Hello there. These are like one week old little babies right now. This little one right here is called Mimi Peanut. It's a boy. And this is Nirvana Mittens and she's blind. She's got um white scale like stuff on her eyes, but she doesn't have her eyes open, so I can't really show you, but these babies, it's okay. For like a couple days, I've been going through some spiritual warfare and fiery darts in my mind. It has been hard and I haven't had a whole lot of like desire to pour out because I just wasn't in a good place mentally. And, um... These babies were in their crib and um I don't know I just didn't have anything to pour into them felt like not good <laughs> and then um I knew <laughs> that they really needed snuggles and kisses and love to be you know, nurtured like this, just to be with them, makes them feel better. Um, so I did that, but when I first grabbed them, they were erratic, especially Mimi Peanut right here, really erratic, like, <laughs> like, just not at peace. Not calm. You like to suck on things. I love that Mimi Pina. So cute. Um. Oh, you can see the eyes now. See, blind. Yeah, I'm blind, baby. Don't know why. I pray for God to heal it. Maybe you can come in agreement. God could still heal him. But um, they were erratic. And I was thinking about how that's like, that's like us when we don't like how important it is for these kittens to be nurtured and loved. And then I was thinking in a correlation, how important it is as, as believers of Christ that we receive the love of God and also the love of God through fellowshipping with other believers. And then we're settled and we're, we're able to pour out too. I know. It's okay. I don't know. Just something I was thinking that I'd share. Fellowship as a believer, let me tell you, is so important. This battle we're in spiritually. Oh my gosh, baby! What's it called? <laughs> this battle that we're in spiritually is deep. And without fellowship, you you can't do it. We have to, you know, live in the new life in Christ and turn from our sinful fleshly ways and walk in holiness with G and righteousness with Jesus and There's a devil ready to kill, steal, and destroy whom he may, whom he, t whoever he can devour. We, we need fellowship because it strengthens us. You know, there's a scripture in Hebrews that talks about not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as some is the manner of doing, especially as you see the time approaching. God warns us not to forsake fellowship. There's another scripture that says, not to her about like fellowshipping and doctrine and breaking of bread. I don't remember what scripture it is. I just learned about it the other day. And like, oh my gosh, y'all. It is so important that we fellowship. The love of Christ. Like this is 
right now the most people's hearts is growing cold like the bible says the love of many would grow cold because it sin would abound and and sin makes your heart cold so um this like the love the tr true love that people have is in when you're in Christ when you're in Christ you love and and then being around other believers that are filled with the love of God you'll feel so loved what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope it'll encourage you in getting fellowship. God wants to pour his love into you through others. You break chains you don't even know are in your soul. I just recently got hooked up with a church that God put me in. And I thought it was um, pretty good. <laughs> not. God's taking off the blinders, doing some pruning, some chastising, and showing me just how not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> Funny areas of pride that we have that are hidden in us, but the Lord is good at rooting it out and humbling us. Fellowship is so, so important. Pray for this blind kitten to be healed. Thank you. Take care and fellowship. Pray God will help you find a place. Have faith. He will. God bless you.